chop it all off. Torn it all off. Um, anyway, that was a little intense. Cause I know we are real as can be. Although we stick to each other, we're free. We still dream of what we could be. You still amaze me. Hello, and welcome to a week in my life, even though it's not really a week. Um, it's a week-ish. It's actually not even a week-ish. It's two days. Um, it's Monday and Tuesday. I feel like I filmed so many weeks in my lives and so many days in my lives and I feel like it's kind of boring. And I apologize if to you it is boring, but I want to be able to look back on it and I was gonna hope, gonna hope, that sounds weird, but I'm hoping that this two days in my life are maybe slightly more interesting because today I want, I work in the costume shop every Monday, Wednesday. I filmed the costume shop before numerous times, but I usually just get quick shots here and there. And today I'm hoping to do more of an overview of the entire costume shop and really get in depth of what it looks like just because I think that might be interesting. Um, and then for my voice and movement class, I never film that class because it's a very, it's hard to explain, but it's just a very hard class to film. Um, but today I'm hoping to get some footage of my voice and movement class. And then Tuesday I have my English class that I can film or whatever. Um, I never film that class either, but only because it's just boring. Like, I don't know, just feel like it's boring. Um, but I can film kind of just that because I've never filmed it before. And on top of that, or after that, I am going to go see my new apartment, um, kind of. I'm getting a studio apartment and they don't have any studios to look at. So instead I'm looking at a two bedroom apartment, which I feel like is a vastly different from a studio, but they said that they can explain it and like, show it to me and I don't know explain it in a way to where like I'll get a general idea of what the studio looks like so that's exciting and then after that I'm getting a haircut and it might not seem that exciting to you but to me I am very excited I have not gotten a haircut in a year um and so I'm very looking forward to getting that cut and I don't know, chopping all this off, just chop it all off, torn it all off. Um, anyway, that was a little intense. Um, so yeah, um, come along with me and enjoy my day. Is that weird to say? It's kind of weird to say. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Listen, I said I was going to film my voice and movement class. That didn't end up happening. <laughs> um, I ended up being late to voice and movement because I was in the costume shop and we were surging edges in the costume shop. And long story short, I feel like I'm always slow 
at working in the costume shop and I feel like I'm known as being the slow person. So today I was like, I'm not going to be slow. I'm going to get, because there's these like long, and I mean like when I say long, I mean like long as F pieces of fabric. And they need to be served on both sides and basically... I was like, today I'm not going to get be slow. I'm going to get at least one of them done today by the time my shift is over. And I know it might be like, well, just one. Um, but one is honestly like a lot. And I almost didn't get it done. Like literally the minutes were like taking down. And I was like almost done surging. But I had a little bit of fat. It was like down to the minute. Anyway, <laughs> point is, is I ended up being late because of that to my voice and movement. So I didn't film anything in voice and movement. Also, in general, like I've said before, it's hard to film voice and movement because it's very quiet and like we just like all sit together and observe people doing their monologues and I feel like I don't want to ask someone to film my monologue but I don't want to film other people doing their monologue and it's just, it'd be weird I feel like. So, haven't done that but as you saw, I hope you saw that I filmed the costume shop and the inside. I don't know if you got the general gist, but there's like two different rooms that are filled with costumes. And so there's like the main room that you first walk into that I showed. That's like a wall of shoes on one side and then racks of clothes on the other. And the racks of clothes um, go, like there's multiple like, I don't know. I hope you saw that there's like multiple um what would you call that rows of clothes um but then there's another room that also has rows of clothes and also has um other storage of like stuff not I was gonna say shoes but not really shoes but like belts and um stuff like that so yeah and then there's the room that I showed that someone obviously is like the laundry room and then there's the main sewing room that um you know is the main work room where you sew and you serge things and yeah so that was a costume shop I hope that was somewhat interesting if not I, I don't know um and then yeah for voice and movement like I said working on monologues we're doing this thing where we're doing um instead of typical like speaking the word of our monologue we're doing the actions first and intentions and you're not allowed to speak any words like just do your intentions through actions and show what your intentions are through actions I don't know if that makes any sense but yeah we're basically doing our monologue without words <laughs> um, which is a lot harder than you would think it is like it's complicated um, so that was fun um, and we have to perform on Wednesday like our performance of these actions are on Wednesday and I do not you're supposed to have your actions like memorized and like know like what each of your because you do one action and then immediately go into the next one and immediately like do one right after the other until your monologue is done um and you're supposed to have them memorized because you're supposed to be able to like yeah do one right after the other and not like keep looking at a sheet of paper um, which makes sense, but I haven't practiced because auditions are coming up. So it's just like, I just, I know this is an excuse, but I've kind of put my voice and movement monologue on the back burner because I've been working on my audition monologues because I have to do two for auditions. Um, one's a Shakespearean one and then the other one's, um, I don't know, does it bug you that I'm not in the middle? Um... The, one's a Shakespearean one and one's a contemporary one and um anyway I've been focusing on those and yeah and so because I've been practicing so hard doing those I haven't been doing the one for voice and movement as much I mean I've been doing it a little bit but not as much so um I'm nervous about doing the actions on Wednesday because I'm like mm, <laughs> don't know if I'm gonna have it memorized so that's uh just great there's a little bunny outside and I'm sorry I keep like looking this way it's because there's just a little bunny and he's just so cute and I can't get over it um yeah was I gonna say anything else I don't know but I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow um oh I was gonna say guess what I got today and I knew it I knew I was gonna get one you know what this is 
boom parking citation I parked it's a long story but if you park if you can't park for more than two hours next to the part of campus that I park at and um, so normally I park far away and I walk to camp, like to that part of campus but today I was like you know what I'm gonna be lazy and honestly a parking citation I know it's like bad to get them in general but it's really not that much more than paying for parking where I normally pay to park so I'm like yeah I'm gonna pay a little bit like normally I wouldn't do this um but today I was like I'm gonna pay a little bit more and um, get a parking citation because I really do not feel like walking to and also I was running late so actually if I would have walked to the campus I would have like ended up being totally late for my shift which is like a big no-no um and yeah so anyway I just thought that was funny and then this is my monologue you see it you see how written up and I guess it's not that badly written up but like it's just a lot of text um and then I have another piece of paper that has more text um my objectives and tactics and blocking and all that good shit um yeah that's what happens you get a monologue and you just mark the crap out of it um so I'm gonna go now I'm gonna actually practice that monologue um and practice the actions a little bit more I feel stupid practicing the actions because it literally makes you look like a weird mime um but I need to do that because like I said I'm not prepared for Wednesday and yeah I will see you tomorrow I was gonna say Wednesday but no it's tomorrow which is Tuesday which is exciting because haircut day woohoo anyway bye hello today is Tuesday I am off right now to my English class where we are reading Paradise Lost in case anyone gave a single F um never realized that an important part of English or being an English major would be knowing Bible stories which is just funny because I'm an atheist sorry if that's like shocking or offensive to anyone but I just am and it's just funny because I don't know I just never like thought that like I would need to know the Bible stories and I feel like everyone in my class is like oh yeah like that story of Adam and Eve like I know all these like details about it like I know the general story of Adam and Eve but I don't know like details and everyone else knows details of it and I'm just like sorry I never learned this stuff because like I grew up you know in a non-religious household so like stories like Adam and Eve you know I I learned about at some point in my life but I never again knew like I just knew the general gist you know they just tell they tell us non-religious people the general you know this is generally what happened and that's all we need to know well no now as an English major apparently I need to know details and I don't know details so totally random um but I'm gonna go to class and then say goodbye to this hair because it's going bye 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 I'm so excited it's like a mess in the back I didn't even realize god damn anyway my hair in general is a mess it's a non shower day which I know might seem like gross like you're not showering before going to the hair salon they wash your hair anyway and I just showered yesterday so it's not like I'm going like a super like you know it's not like it's like oh I've been it's been days since I've showered it's literally been like not even 24 hours yet and um, on top of that they wash my hair before they cut it so I don't feel too bad about it anyway I'm gonna go because I think I'm gonna be late for class now but see you there so I don't know if you can really tell but it is a beautiful day outside yesterday was beautiful today is beautiful and I am excited for warmer weather let me tell you you know you go to school in Colorado when <laughs>
just like that. My hair is shorter. Um, it looks extra short because it's curled, obviously, when you curl your hair, it makes it look short than it actually is. Maybe you didn't know that. If you did not know that, then now you know. Um, it's kind of obvious, I feel like. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, so it looks really short right now, but it's not, like, that short. Um, I mean, it is, but I don't know. You know what I mean. I'm just going to stop talking and say that that has been the past two days of my life. Didn't really go as planned. Um, <laughs> didn't film. Oh, I was going to say, I also went to go look at um, what will be my apartment. And that went really well. Didn't film, obviously, any of that. Was very much in a hurry because, uh, like... In general there was like traffic because there always is and then I parked in the wrong spot and went into the building and they were like yeah you're gonna get towed if you park there so I was like oh shit and so I went and moved my car but then that took up more time I ended up being late to my hair appointment by like five minutes um, which you know I hate being late to things I'm um, sorry just like when you get your hair cut you just gotta like look at it like just look at it just look at it anyway um What's my point? Oh, but yeah, I didn't really, I don't know, as always, didn't film as much as I planned on, but that's okay. Um, you kind of just got a look into the two days of my life. Um, apparently, you know how earlier I was talking about how what a beautiful day it is? Because it is such a beautiful day. It's supposed to be, I think it's supposed, to, was supposed to get up to 78 degrees today. So like literally almost the 80s. Um, just supposed to be such a beautiful, nice day. And guess what? Apparently there's a blizzard coming. And I was just warned about it and told like, oh yeah, there's going to be a blizzard. Like, eight inches of snow. And I'm like, cool, cool. Kill me now. So, have that to look forward to. Um, anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed this week in my life. Or, sorry, two days in my life. Um, I hope it was somewhat interesting. I'm in a really good mood now. Do you ever, like, just, you get your hair cut and you feel like you look good and you're just, like, taking a hundred, I took, like, a hundred selfies, like, not even kidding you, and I just am in a really good mood, even though I'm not going anywhere, like, I'm home for the rest of the day, but still, I'm just in a really good mood, and, like, I feel like my hair is bouncy, so I'm bouncy, and I just, uh, uh -huh. anyway, um, I'm gonna go. Uh, I keep saying that a million times, but really, no, I'm going to actually go this time. Um, and yeah, hope to see you in the next video. Bye!